Here I'm going to show you a, a hobby of mine. Um, these are carnivorous plants. Um, I've got a you know, few species here, not a lot. Um, you know, the majority of species in carnivorous plants come from more temperate regions, and they need to you know, have winter dormancy and stuff. But there are several things that do well here in the more tropical conditions. Um, I can show you some. I've got a few Sotoshanias, which are uh, the North American pitcher plants. Uh, something interesting with these, uh, this particular genus, normally they have to have a winter dormancy. Uh, whereas here, my plants, I, I just kind of trimmed them back. These guys have been growing. I've had some of these plants going for 12, 13 years without doing ever going dormant. They grow all year round. Um, in March and April, they'll, their growth, their leaf production will slow down a bit, but they continue growing and going well. And uh, Actually, I've divided. I used to have hundreds of these, and I threw a lot of them away just because, again, time can't. I've kind of shrunk down my collection to a very manageable scale now. So, um, Here's an interesting plant. This is Drosera angelica, the English sundew. Um, a group of them there. Uh, different things. This is Drosera capensis. Here's a Drosera that was from here in Costa Rica. Again, it was supposedly capillaris, but we're not quite sure exactly what it is. Uh, this is a Brazilian species, kind of an unusual species. This is Drosera gramogalensis. Um, this is Pinguicula mesophytica. Uh, it's a kind of an epiphytic form from here in uh, Central America. And then we've got some other things. These are some other Mexican species here. Uh, Pinguicula moctezumai. This is Pinguicula morinensis. Pinguicula gigantea. This is Pinguicula lauiana. And um, so, yeah, it's not a. We got some. On this side, we've got a few. Uh, this is kind of an unusual species. This is a Nepenthes clepeata, which I got from in vitro from years ago. Um, there's some other Nepenthes again from in vitro. Uh, I was doing a project at the institute here doing uh, some stuff with in vitro. So years ago I got permits to import some, some tissues from in vitro of different species. And, and I've just kind of kept a couple plants from each one as representatives. <laughs> so Superb. It's a fantastic collection even though I know I used to have a lot more but uh, yeah. it's superb to see these and it kept your interest in them. Yep, yeah. Brilliant. Thanks Brian. Yeah, you're welcome.